Hi there, it's Peter Dudley and I'm a Logic Trainer. It's the 30th of June and today Apple have released another update to Logic Pro X 10.24. It's literally only just come out within the last couple of hours. So uh, run software update. But before you run to do that, um, the release notes, which I'll put the link to at the end of this video, actually mentions that you should really back up your current version of Logic. To do that, make sure Logic is not open. Go to the app icon in your applications folder, control click and choose compress. Once you've done that, go to the app store, check for the update, once it pops up, run the update, put in your computer password etc. And if all's well, then all is good, you don't need to go back to the previous version that you had installed, but it's just there as a precaution. Or you have Time Machine folks. Okay, so um, this particular update doesn't introduce any new features. Um, it's purely stability and bug fixes and it works very very well. Um, one of the features that they fixed, there's many uh, features which I'll put the link to the 10.24 release notes at the end of this video but if you uh, have actually done the update you can get to it in Logic from Logic's help go to the release notes and you'll find all the information the latest information pertaining to this 10.24 update okay so um, I just want to pick out a couple that I really like so if you're in the piano roll by the way it's a little video that I did on um, quick ways of entering notes into a region uh, just a couple of days back so check out that video as well and like and share please um, so let's say you have some notes that you've programmed into the piano roll or played in at different velocities um, the first thing that they fixed is it's now possible to select using the shift key what's known as non-contiguous notes so non-consecutive notes so if there's gaps in between the notes you can do that kind of selection with the shift key held down that was broken in previous versions of logic that's now possible but i think the biggie for me is if you press option and shift when you drag the velocity slider on the left hand side in the piano roll you'll see that the notes all change to that exact same velocity wherever you drag the position of the slider to so changing the notes of mul multiple notes to the same velocity that way is really very 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 efficient um, there's some other improvements to do with plugins particularly alchemy uh, the retro synth and one other feature that um, was broken in 10.23 it was sometimes the case that if you had a plugin from a third-party manufacturer and you sent the plugins outputs to different output channels in the mixer sometimes it would get the assignment wrong that's been fixed now we're assured and send automation works correctly so when you bypass the send automation it stops sending the the value of that send in automation mode which wasn't working correctly in the previous update so that's it really for today and um, happy updating and using the new update take care